Hey friends, I'm creating this special chair video just for you. So please come to a comfortable seat in your chair with your back tall and straight like a tree. And go ahead and close your eyes and take some deep cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Once more, breathe in and breathe out. Now allow your head to fall forward in a bowed position to stretch the back of your neck. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath in and your breath out. Now inhale through your nose and lift your head to the ceiling, letting your face face upwards. Keeping your lips sealed, breathe in and breathe out. Through the nostrils, in and out. Now let you, allow your head to come back to neutral and tilt it to one side. Take your hand and place it upon your head to assist that stretch, reaching your opposite arm away from you, creating a long stretch from your earlobe to your fingertips. Your spine is tall, your belly is in, and your breath is steady through your nose. One more inhale, release on your exhale, and let your head fall the opposite way, taking your hand to the top of your head, gently assisting that stretch by applying light pressure to your hand and your head and reaching with your opposite hand away from you. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. One more time. Release your hand. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra. They look like a prayer hand right in front of your sternum. Fingertips touching light pressure towards each hand. Sitting up tall in your spine again. Turn just your head to the side bringing your chin over your shoulder, and then slowly bring your head around to the other side. Then back to the center, and lift your arms above your head. Reach with your fingertips. Feel your ribs separating from your hips. Your feet are planted on the ground. You're breathing in and out through your nose. Very good. Take your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Begin to twist and look towards your left. Release back to the center with the arms lifted and now take your left hand to your right knee and begin to turn your upper body to the right. A twist with an arm raised. Back to the center and hands at your heart center. 
prayer-like hands, Anjali Mudra, bring them a little bit forward away from your body. Then begin to turn the fingertips towards your neck and see if you can continue until the fingertips point downward for a wrist stretch. Elbows are parallel to the ground. Breathe in, belly is inward, spine is tall. Now reverse the direction of the hands, pointing the fingertips upward, then forward and away from you. Press into the heel of your hands and all 10 of your fingers. Good, now open the arms out to the sides, stretching out with the arms parallel to the earth. Now on your next breath in, drop your left hand and reach your right arm to the sky. Lean in that direction, dropping your hand toward the floor, reaching your opposite arm up and over for a side body stretch. Continue to breathe that beautiful ujjayi breath where the breath comes in and out through the nostrils and the breath that as it leaves, it, you can feel it on the back of your throat, keeping your lips sealed. Good, now let's reverse it. Windmill your arms over the other direction. Now the bottom arm is reaching towards the floor and the top arm is reaching towards the ceiling for a side body stretch. Breath in, lips sealed, breath out. By giving your mind the attention on the breath, you're creating energy in your body and loosening up the muscles gently using breath and movement. Good, back to the middle, arms out to the sides. Press the heels of the hands towards the walls. Separate your fingers wide and then make a tight fist. Roll your wrists in circles, forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. One more, forwards and backwards, good. Now make small circles about the size of a dinner plate. Going forwards slowly with your breath. Breathe in as your arms lift and breathe out as they lower. Good, now let's reverse it. Breathe in and breathe out. Big reaching sensation across the whole length of the arm. The elbows are locked, the hands are in gentle fists, and you're isolating the movement to your shoulders getting the added bonus of stretching out the muscles of the back of the neck and the upper back and some of the chest. One more circle. Very good. Let your arms dangle and give them a little shake. Come to the top of the chair and separate your feet wide so that your knees are wide. Keep the feet planted on the ground, hands on the legs right at the kneecaps and forward fold, breathing out. Inhale, lift with a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Keep going, inhale. Straighten your elbows when you come to the top. Bend them deeply as you forward fold. One more time together. Forward fold, breathing out through your nose. And then lifting up. Good. Now we're gonna twist again. Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. You can hold the back of your chair and twist to the right. See if your head and neck will allow you to turn to the right as well. Keeping the spine tall, breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Now let's reverse the direction slowly, unwind and rewind. Keeping your spine straight is important. Pressing into the feet onto the floor, keeping your legs where they are. Breath in and breath out. Then back to the center and come into a forward fold again. Fold and lift. Grow your spine tall, forward fold, flat back. Neck is long, press back up, two more. Breath out, breath in. 
Now we'll turn to the right and come over that leg. Then lift back up. Turn to your left, fold over that leg. And lift back up. Again to the side. And now the other side. Good. Now come back with your legs together, heel toeing those feet together and sit back a little further in your chair. Lift your arms above your head, breathe in. On your exhale, bring your legs up and your arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Last one, hold, drop your shoulders down, breathe in, draw that belly in towards your back, grow the top of your head toward the sky. One more inhale, and then soften and shake it out, bouncing the feet on the floor if that feels good. Cross the right leg over the left leg like a lady would do at the table. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. You'll turn in the opposite direction that your leg is crossed. Twist. Slowly lift your chin and look up towards the ceiling. Lower your chin, come back to facing forward, uncross and recross the other way. Again, like a lady at the table, your legs are close together, your right hand is now on the outside of your left knee, and you're twisting away from that crossed leg. Breathe in, and breathe out. Another breath in. Another breath out, then inhale and lift your head, tilting your head so that the chin lifts. Lower the chin, return to facing forward and face back to the front. Come to the top of the chair once more. Let's do pigeon in the chair. It's the figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Taking your right hand, apply gentle pressure downward against the knee to create some sensation in the right hip. Keeping your spine tall and your body centered over your pelvis, your chin parallel to the floor. Breath in and breath out. Inhale deeper. Exhale, longer. Good, one more time. Then uncross and let's recross with the other side. Sitting up tall, finding that length in the spine, chin parallel to the earth, light pressure with your left hand on your left knee downward to create sensation around the left hip. Breathing into that space, imagining your breath going all the way down to the hip that you're stretching. towards the middle of the chair, but all, not all the way back so that your back is touching the back of the chair. We're gonna lift one leg and bend the other, bringing the knee in and then switch. 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 Keep your feet flexed. Drawing a lot of energy, you might start to feel warm. That's on purpose. We're creating some cardiovascular work, good for our heart, 
good for our lungs, increasing our lung capacity, getting the added bonus of some good stretching for our legs. One more to each side. And let's set the feet back down. Pad them out if that feels good. Take your hands, set them up toward the front of your body, and then one at a time with straight arms, guide each finger toward you to stretch out your palm and your forearm. Remember the thumbs, go slowly, both sides. And then separate your fingers nice and wide and then bring them all together. Open and close, open and close, open and close. Good, arms out again to a big T shape. Turn your palms so they face upright. Bring your fingertips right to the tops of your shoulders. Then open them back out with your elbows parallel to the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Last set. Bring those fingertips right to the tips of your shoulders and your elbows together. Exhale and open them back towards the back of your chair. Inhale forward. Exhale open. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One more set. And let your arms rest. Shake it out. Now we'll come to standing, so cock, carefully come out of your chair and around to the back of the chair. We're going to come into our toe, onto the tips of the toes, like we do by lifting up and then holding your balance. Keep breathing. And release. Good. Now we're going to send the seat of our body backwards as we come into a forward fold. Inhale, lifting up to a straight, tall body, Tadasana. Exhale, forward fold. Seat goes back, feet lift up. Lift up straight, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold into what very much is like a downward dog. Lift up. Forward fold, lift up, forward fold, lift up and stay. Separate your feet wider, point your toes slightly outward like duck feet, bend one knee and sink, stretching the inner thigh and lift back up. Go the other way and lift back up. That's one set. We'll do three more. Sink, lift, sink, lift. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Sink a little lower, lift a little taller. Last one. Good, heel toe the feet back together. We're gonna to come into chair pose um, and you're gonna use the chair to help support you. Holding onto the chair, just start to bend the knees as if you were dropping your tailbone into a seat. Feeling a stretch across the calves and the shins if you feel secure, raise your arms at an angle out in front of you. Chair pose. Slowly come up, hands to the back of the chair. Again, another chair pose. Sink down with bent knees, tailbone straight toward the floor. If you feel secure, lift your arms out at an angle straight in front of you. Belly is in toward the spine. Drop your tailbone slightly lower. Feel your quadricep muscles, those muscles across the front of your thighs working to hold you up. Good, one more breath in. 
and release on your breath out. Now we're gonna increase the tempo, adding a little bit of a cardiovascular type move to this yoga pose. So we'll go in tempo with our breath. So as we sink, and as we lift, we move with our breath. So take a breath in, sink on your breath out. Lift, sink. Lift, sink. Keep going. One more set, down and up. Very good. Now we're gonna come back to that wide stance, but this time keep your feet forward facing so they're parallel. You wanna parallel the pinky toe sides of your feet to be facing forward, keeping your spine straight and just bending your left knee. Bend the knee, keep your body upright and sink toward the left side. Then come back up. Do the same thing to the right. Now take a peek at your knee. You want it to be over your toes or behind it, not past it. Come back up. Let's do it again on the left. Take a peek, come back up, and then one more time to the right. Very good. Come back to standing. We're gonna come into tree pose. It's a balancing posture, as you know. So find a leg to stand upon, and if you're coming to the side of your chair, the leg that's closest to the chair will be the standing leg. You can hold the chair the entire time, finding your weight on both your feet and then shifting your body weight to that standing leg, opening out your other leg to the side. If you'd like to come into the full expression of the posture, raise an arm at an angle, and if you find yourself in a good balance, lift the other arm as well. That's an option. Keep breathing. Excellent. Lower one hand, then the other. Mindfully place the other foot down beside the other and come into Tadasana, Mountain Pose. You will feel even in your weight on both of your feet. Come on over to the other side. Tree Pose on the other side of the chair. Again, hold the chair if it's helpful, bringing your outer leg to the bend, placing it on either your calf or your ankle or even your inner thigh. Perhaps lifting one arm, maybe lifting both arms knowing that you can always keep your hand on the chair if you wish. Think of your spine like a tree growing towards the sunshine. Lift your spine and create length with your breath. Breathe in, feel your vertebrae getting spacious and expanding. Lower one hand, then the other, bring your knee forward back to Tadasana mountain pose. Very good. Let's come back to the seat, sitting down at the top of the chair, and we'll come into some seated warriors. The first thing we'll do is bring one knee out to the side and extend the other leg long. Both feet are firmly planted on the floor. The back leg, the long leg, has an angle in its foot shape, so the heel is slightly behind the toes. Then begin to turn your torso towards the same way your knee is bent, and you can hold the chair with your back hand and lift your opposite arm up. This is warrior one in the chair. Press into the pinky toe side of your long leg. Lift with your arms up to the sky. If you feel secure, lifting both arms is a great option. Slowly release your arms and switch to the other side, keeping that outside leg long, the heel behind the toes, the front leg is bent, and you're twisting to look towards this direction that your knee is pointing in. You can hold the chair if it's helpful and raise the outer arm straight up. If you can, lift both arms straight up. Focus on your breathing through your nostrils.
come back to face forward and march it out. Going back into a warrior one setup, but making our way to warrior two. One leg is bent, the other leg is straight, our torso is facing the same direction as our knee, and so is our head, but we're gonna reach the right arm forward if it's the right knee that's bent, and then the opposite arm will go over the leg. Sometimes our arms are cattywampus, so take a peek at your opposite arm to be sure it's the same height as your front arm. Turn your chin to look forward. Turn the front palm upside down for a reverse warrior in chair. Come back to warrior two and come back to facing forward. Shake it out a little bit. Go ahead and switch the other direction, bringing your body upright, spine tall, back leg straight, front leg bent, arms up and open to warrior two. Turning your head to look forward over your fingernails. Then flip the front palm and reverse the warrior, sending that arm up to the sky, the other arm down your leg. to warrior two and back to the front bringing yourself back together shake it out if that feels good excellent so we're going to do a couple of more shoulder rolls we're going to keep our arms relaxed and lift the shoulders up towards the ears and then back squeezing the shoulder blades together rounding them forward and back one more circle this direction now we'll reverse it So now we're going to come into a um, figure four again, only this time we're going to lift the heel. So cross one leg over the other and lift the heel. Then come into a slow forward fold, big stretch. This is a modified version of pigeon. It's a nice stretch for the outer thigh, the glute. Keeping your neck long will keep your neck muscles relaxed and maybe looking down toward the floor. Slowly lift back up, set that foot down, do the same thing with the other leg, bringing your heel up from the floor and bending forward. towards the middle of your chair. We're gonna do some seated jumping jacks. Don't be afraid. Bring your um, legs straight out and open them wide. You can hold your chair, bring them together. Open and close. So that's the leg part. The arms part, if you can, if you feel comfortable, is opening them up as you open your legs, closing them to Anjali Mudra when you bring them together. Let's begin. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, keep going. Last one. Very nice. Sit back in the back of your chair and close your eyes. If you'd like to come to an easy seat, sit all the way back and let your feet just rest softly on the floor. Your arms could either rest beside you or in the shape of a little bowl with one hand on top of the other and letting the thumbs lightly touch. Sometimes this is called the Buddha bowl. Just a nice, easy, relaxing way to pause for a meditation. Close your eyes.
and start to let your breath return to normal. Breathing softly in and out through your nostrils. With your eyes closed, imagine that you are on a path. The path could be any way you would like to describe it in your own imagination. A sandy path, a soily path, a rocky path, or a smooth path. As you think about going along this path, noticing every little detail that comes along the way. Is it cold? Is it warm? Is it dark? Or is it daytime? Is there a canopy above you of trees and light? Or is it spacious and wide open sky with sparkling stars? step, knowing that your journey is taking you upward and forward. And as you return back down to the pathway, back to where you were, just know that you are loved, you are missed, and I wish you a very happy and gentle Namaste.